Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1157. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we're tracking miles, and we need to figure out the costs per miles. Here's the deal. We have a hurdle. That's not dollars. That's actual miles. The hurdle is 1,000. Everything before or 10,000. Everything before 10,000 is charged 40 cents, but everything after 10,000 is 25 cents. Now, here's a formula that will do it, but that is just a little bit too wild and long. Now, maybe you like the logic of that one better, but we're going to see how to use the median function. Now, this is something that has come up a number of times throughout my years of, of using Excel, I first saw it in the Mr. Excel Challenge back in 2007. I did this trick back in Excel, Magic Trick 100, and even 1090. But in each one of these tricks, we had different examples. But here's the consistency. We need a running total. So we're going to use the sum of the miles from B6 to B6, but we're going to lock with the F4 key. This will be an expandable range. So as we copy it down, you can see the range is expanding. Here's the deal. Here and here, we're under the hurdle. But at this one point, we jump over the hurdle. And actually, the difference between 5,000 50 and 10,000 will be charged at the 40 cents, but this 500 over is charged at 25 cents. And then the rest of these are charged at 25 cents. So anytime you have a running total where there's a hurdle and you have one of two either costs or amounts or tax rates or commission rates, this strange formula will work. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to fill three columns up. I'm going to put a bunch of zeros here. We're going to look at, in this column, whatever the running total is. Remember, that's a sum with an expandable range, minus the hurdle F4 to lock that, Control-Enter to populate that all the way down. So that's running total minus hurdle. And then I'm going to have a column with just the straight miles. Now, I want to see if we can notice a pattern. What's the median of these? Now, median means the number that's in the middle, positive, negative, or zero. It's zero. What's the number in the middle? Positive, negative, or zero? It's zero. What's the number in the middle? 500. What's the number in the middle? Is it the running total minus the hurdle zero or this one? So check this out. These are all the flat numbers that need to be multiplied by 0.25. This is that one extra little bit that needs to be multiplied by 0.25. 0.25. And if we multiplied 0 times this 0.25, we'd be just fine. So I'm going to mark those. Now let's see if we can get this formula to give us 0, 0, 500, and these over here using the median. Now the median always takes any set of number, sorts them, and then picks the one in the middle. So I'm going to say 0, comma, this one, comma, or sum of the running total and lock the first one, F4, minus the hurdle, F4. So we just simulated in this one formula all of these columns. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. Now notice we get exactly those yellow cells right there. So guess what? These ones we'd like to multiply times that, but we also need to amend the formula, because here's another concept. Would it be OK to take all of these numbers times the 40 cents? Yes, it would. But that means any of the numbers above would not be multiplied by the 0.25, but we could multiply it times 0.25 minus 0.4, which would be minus 15 cents. So let's see if we can do that. Let's see if we can do the first part. Hey, we know that the base is always that amount times the 40 cents, F4. So we have that as the base plus, and then we'll do the difference. 0.25 F4 minus the 0.4 F4 to lock it. So that's the difference between the two will give us a negative and then times. Now in the other examples in these other videos, we never had a cost one. We had, we had commissions and payroll taxes and things like that. So this is the first time where we actually did uh, a negative like this. But when I control enter, Double click and send it down. You gotta be kidding me. So, this formula ends up being a lot shorter 
uh, and uh, maddening than typing out this one. All right, we'll see you next trick.